Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to purify your water using nothing but bleach. Just keep watching, I'll come back here in a bit and show you guys how it's done. Went out and I picked us up some cheap bleach from the store. And that's really what you want to get when you're doing this, is the cheap stuff. You don't want anything expensive, nothing with dyes or perfumes, you don't need any of that stuff. You just want sodium hypochlorite as the active ingredient. And I'll show you a close up of that here in a second. But I wanted to talk to a few. I wanted to talk about a few other things first. Like something that a lot of people don't realize is bleach does have a shelf life. It can lose up to 50% of its potency within a year just by sitting on the shelf. But all bleach has between 5.25 and 8.25 percent chlorine in it, and that's what's going to help disinfect your water. Not so much the bleach itself, but the chlorine inside the bleach. And it does not take a lot of bleach, guys. It only takes about one or two drops per liter or eight drops per gallon. And that's for clear water. If you got cloudy water, you're gonna have to double it. So if you got a gallon of cloudy water, you need to add 16 drops of, of bleach. But I'm gonna go ahead and get me my canteen and everything out, get me some water in it. I'll come back. I'll show you guys how to use this to disinfect it. Just keep watching. All right, guys, this is gonna be what you're looking for, is this right here. Let me zoom in so you can see that. S sodium hypochlorite, remember that. You don't wanna make sure that it doesn't have any dyes in it, it doesn't have any perfumes, that it's got sodium hypochlorite in it, right there. Okay, what we're gonna do is, we're going to Pour some bleach, just a little bit in here. Probably more than enough, really. But I'm gonna put that in there. Then you can use a string or a piece of your bandan, your bandana, or whatever you got. In this case, we just got a just a piece of cloth T-shirt, and just drop it in your bleach. Let it soak up all that bleach. And you don't have to use your, your canteen cup, you can use whatever. But <clears throat> this is 30, 33 ounces, or this is 30, my, a 32 ounce canteen. And we're going to just take Two drops. We'll make it three because it's it's right about 33 ounces is about two liters, or I'm sorry, one liter. So we're just going to let it drop in there. Let me get a closer see closer view so you guys can kind of get a better idea of it. If you want to? You could probably get away with just two drops. But just hold it over your canteen till it drops three times. One, two, three. Okay, that's it. Now take a stick or your spork or whatever you got. Just mix it up. Let it sit for a half hour. Remember that. You want to wait a half hour. Something you need to look for when you're doing this is you need to make sure you can smell the chlorine in the water. So just take a smell of it. I can smell the chlorine, but if you do this and you can't smell the chlorine in it, you need to add the same amount of bleach just like before and then wait another half hour. And after that half hour and you still can't smell that chlorine, then you don't even want to touch it. You don't want anything to do with it, guys. You just want to find another water source because that's not going to do you any good. That's pretty much it, guys. It's pretty simple to do. It doesn't take a lot of bleach to do that. You want to remember, if you drink too much bleach, it could make you sick. So remember, it just takes about two drops of bleach per every liter of water, eight drops per a gallon of water, that's for clear water. Remember, it needs to be doubled if it's cloudy. 
But I hope you guys learned something from that. It helps you out. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe, leave any comments. And remember, as always, keep your blade sharp, but your mind sharper. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time.